Hey lovely, it's Karen Ely from Women Talking Finance. Today I want to talk about the importance of financial goal setting when it comes to managing your money. You see, money needs a direction and a purpose and goals, setting goals, gives our money a direction and it gives us a purpose because if we think about anything in life if we don't have a destination that we have in mind what are we going to do we're going to wander around aimlessly and your money does the exact same thing so setting goals and giving it a direction to head into is so important so when you think about goals you want to set short-term goals like 12 months you want to set three plus year goals and then perhaps five to ten year goals Quite often I get asked, Karen, should I invest in shares or property or cash? And I can never answer that question without first knowing, well, what are your goals? What is it that you're trying to achieve? Because when you know what your plan is long term, money and um, time like this perfect power couple, you put them together and with the benefits and power of compound interest they really work well over long periods of time but we need to set those goals and when we're looking at different investments and asset classes and um, places to put our money all of them have certain time frames so if you're looking at investing in cash the time frame is quite low whereas if you're looking at shares or property you want to have a five to seven year time frame that that money can be put away so going back to your goals and understanding Understanding what is the reason that I want to invest? Whether is it to save tax? Is it to create a passive income? Is it to um, store wealth that I can rely on in retirement? We need to understand those things before you can start allocating your money towards them. When you start setting those goals, those short-term, medium and long-term goals, be really specific about it. So I can give you an example. Say one of your goals is in three years time, I want to buy a house. Be specific about it. Well, I want to buy a property and the property is worth 700000 So then if you go backwards, you know that if you want to have that 20% deposit for the house, you're going to need about $140,000. So now you've got a dollar amount, $140,000, and I need that in three years' time. So how much is that I need to save and grow over that next three years to achieve that goal? So you can see where I'm going with this. And then the longer term goals is about, um, say, I want a million dollars at age 65. And that might, number might seem very daunting. But the thing is, if you actually start putting money away from your early 20s, it's only a couple of hundred dollars um, each year. And with effects of compound interest, it compounds over time. And you can quite easily from age 25 to 65 get to that million dollar mark. But it is about having goals, giving your money a direction and purpose. I hope you found this video valuable and um, look forward to seeing you next time.